Hello and welcome back to another Interp video lecture series. My name is Xavier Liu. I'm one of the coaches for Interp at Bellarmine College Prep. And today, our lecture today will all be about combating autopilot. So first of all, what is autopilot? Autopilot is effectively is essentially not thinking while you're giving a speech. Um, you're disengaged from not only the content, but the acting part um, and the delivery of your speech as a whole. You're really just going through the motions. Essentially, you're just doing X, Y, Z uh, when you're saying these lines. You're not actually thinking about what you are um, doing and why you're doing the things you're doing. You're also not becoming the character. You're not being the character or reacting to the surroundings. You're just, again, just going through the motions. You're very disengaged with your actual speech as a whole. As a result, your speech becomes bland and stale. It doesn't feel real. And as a result, a lot of folks have a big, big confidence drop when this happens. Now, when does autopilot usually set in? Well, it usually happens and sets in during long breaks in between tournaments when folks generally aren't practicing, when folks generally sort of um, have uh, start getting busy, uh, whether that's with college apps or uh, with other extracurricular activities or with school um, or other commitments. Um, but usually what happens um, is during periods where we are not practicing, we're not engaging with our speech, uh, autopilot begins to set in. Now, how do we avoid autopilot after a tournament? After a league tournament, or really any tournament, make sure you go and you read comments. If they contain useful information, try to implement them in your speech. So for example, if a parent, judge, or if a coach um, explicitly tells you like, hey, I just didn't get this part, or like I really thought that your characters blended with each other and like I wasn't clear um, which character was which, please make sure that you read those comments and you try to implement those comments in, uh, and fixes in your speech. Now, if they don't contain useful info, which is unfortunately most of the comments from League, um, as well as some comments from National Circuit tournaments, Go ahead and ask your peers, meet with them, set up appointments with them, um, meet with your coaches, use your gut uh, slash thoughts that you had after your speech or reflections after your speech to improve your speech, right? If you thought that um, your characterization for um, the mom um, in your HI was just not solid at League One, what are some ways that we can do to improve, right? Check in with your coaches, your captains, and your peers, right? Again, they're a key resource for you to utilize to make sure that your speech improves. Don't just sit there um, and, 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 and just let a, a month go by between League 1 and League 2 without actually having done anything with your speech, right? Further, let's say um, your coach is super busy, right? You have captains, you have peers to turn to, and vice versa. If your peers and captains are very busy, you have um, meetings with coaches. You can schedule stuff on Calendly. You can schedule stuff uh, through email, stuff like that. Here are some specifically worded questions that will help you improve um, or that you can ask yourself um, uh, after a tournament on ways that you can improve. First of all, how can I make my characters more dynamic? Were my characters flat, right? Am I engaging my characters? Did I fall into a vocal pattern throughout my speech? I think this is particularly helpful with OI um, because if you start sounding the same, then um, you, you, there's no good climax or there's no good buildup in your speech. Were my builds strong or lacking? Did my emotion, facial expression, eyes, eyebrows, etc., properly reflect the words that I'm saying and the emotional build throughout? I think this is applicable to all... Uh, events, whether or not uh, uh, you, whether or not you uh, you do OI, DI, Duo, HI, etc., OPP, POI, doesn't matter. We need to make sure that our builds are strong. We need to make sure that our emotions, our facial expressions, all of that work and connect together. 
Did my blocking make sense? Were my pops, my morphs, my transitions, were those clean, clear, and tight? Um, were, uh, were any blocking or any sense of blocking confusing to judges, right? Like, if I was picking up a cup, did I make that explicitly clear, etc.? As well as, were there any parts of my script or speech that was unclear or might be confusing to a judge, right? Like, if the script itself has issues or is confusing or jumps all over the place or doesn't have clean transitions, right? Those areas can, can be very confusing for judges. So let's make sure that those are super clear. Lastly, how do we avoid autopilot long-term? First, we can change up the cutting. So we can move the exposition around, we can find new things to replace more blander parts of a speech with, see if we can build to the climax a little more clearly and a little more cleanly. Um, we can add lines for clarity, right? We can change up the intro, we can rewrite that, we can move it somewhere else, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. One thing that we can for sure be doing is changing up the cutting so we can avoid autopilot. Because we're always being engaging, or we're always engaging with our speech. The other thing we can do is we can make sure that characters are dynamic. How can we add facial expressions for our characters during specific parts of the script? Can we swap specific characters with, e with each other, uh, change up their characterization? And last but not least, we can modify your blocking. Make things clearer and cleaner for judges. For example, do we need to re-block the fight scene or look how we can better create our surroundings? Can we add more creative blocking, especially for duo, uh, blind blocking, changing up transitions, adding in a noise transition, um, rather than using, um, uh, you know, like 180 degree turns or um, uh, diamond transitions? Can we clean up our blocking, right? All of these things are just some things that we can do to make sure that we avoid autopilot long term. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask your coach, uh, your peers, uh, your junior captains or senior captains. Um, either way, that's it for this video. Thanks for joining us. Please check back with our confidence uh, lecture, which will be next.